Last month, I asked people to hack part of my YouTube video. For years, people have used the sensor tool to blur or pixelate out parts of videos where there's sensitive information. And for years, every time I've used it, I get a few comments from people saying, that's not a safe way to censor information. So is that true? I wanted to find out. So in my video about a new Thunderbolt NVMe enclosure, I censored a folder on my computer with a message saying I'd send 50 bucks to anyone who could tell me what it said under the pixelation. And you know what? Not 24 hours later, three people sent me the folder contents, all three using slightly different techniques. Scary. But how did they do it? I asked each of them, and they were more than happy to share. For most of us who like reverse engineering or tinkering, it's fun to share the craft, and even more fun when it's sanctioned fun. And add on a little monetary reward, and it's just icing on the cake. I'm going to share Kokotoro's method, mostly because there's an entire GitHub repo sharing the process and the code, along with two different ways that the user tried to depixelate my footage. First was a brute force attempt. The idea here is that the pixelation is kind of like shutters over a picture. As you move the image beneath a round, you can peek into different parts of the picture. As long as you have a solid frame of reference, like the window that stays the same size, you can accumulate pixel data from the picture underneath. Eventually, you wind up with something pretty close to the original, though it's a bit blotchy. This first method already proved the concept, but Kokotoro was selecting the window by hand in each frame. For the second try, GIMP and FFmpeg were used to automatically pull the window out of the video frames to get all the data more precisely. You can see for yourself, doing that, the window is almost as clear as it was in my original footage by the time I finished dragging it around on my screen. And like I said, other people were able to get the data out too using slightly different techniques. Another user sent me this picture in the same half hour that Kokotoro sent an email. Blurring or pixelating video, especially moving video, is going to lead to similar results as you saw here. Years ago, it would have required a supercomputer and a PhD to do this stuff. But today, between AI assistance with the trickier bits of the code and how fast neural networks run on computers, it's easier and faster than ever to depixelate video. If there's one thing computers are good at, it's finding order in seeming chaos, like how modern tools can pull a clean voice out of a horrible recording. The more motion in the video, the more data points the reverse engineering has to play with, and thus the better confidence in the result. If I hadn't moved around my finder window in the video, I don't think it would have worked. You might get a couple letters right, but it would be very low confidence. Moving forward, if I do have sensitive data to hide, I'm going to make a pure color mask over the area instead of a blur or pixelation effect. Intuitively, blur might do more than pixelation, but that might just be my own monkey brain talking. I'd love to hear more in the comments if you've dealt with that kind of image processing in the past. It's amazing what people can do with a neural network, ingenuity, and time. I guess the moral of the story is, if you don't want people to read censored data, maybe just don't post it online.